guess it kind of on paper it looks a pretty comfortable fixture for Celtic, but early in the season some months showed that they could be problematic. Yeah, that's exactly it. Um, obviously, it's quite a while ago now that that, that first fixture, but um, you know we found it frustrating at the time, and um, you know we were disappointed at the end not to come away with three points. So um, you know that's definitely something we'll be looking to do right now. Obviously, we've we've spoken a lot about coming back after this break and really wanting to kind of um, stamp our authority almost in the games coming up and and really put down a marker. So um, you know it starts with with some merit. And of course they actually had a good result at weekend and they'll get the game a bit more confidence than perhaps they might have done the previous week. Yeah, you know, incredible comeback from them and um, you know, it shows um, what kind of fight they've got and um, you know, it's the same with every team in the league. Nobody's really gonna come to Celtic Park and just kinda lie down and um, everyone's gonna put up a fight. Um something we've kinda had to get used to. Um, you know, it's again it's gonna be hard even, you know, irritate the weekend. Um, worked very, very hard off the ball and, and made it difficult at times for us. So that's credit to them. And um, you know, I'm sure Sir will, will come and again look to try and frustrate us. Can you see this? Can you sense this turn into a proper title race in the next three or four months? Um, yeah, obviously. I think the the league kind of speaks for itself. How you know how close it is, and um, you know a, a lot. Again, a lot has been said about the how how competitive the league is this year. Um, you know, it's only good for for the league as a whole and. You know, obviously for us, we want to kind of, like I said, after this break, really kick on now and hopefully, um, you know, well, first and foremost, stay top of the league. But if we can kind of start getting a wee point gap between us and the rest of the team, so um, that's what we're looking to do, and and uh, hopefully we can do that. And this return to Premiership action has almost been a sort of long time coming. Players have had quite a long time to to dwell on things over the Christmas break. Yeah. Um, to be fair, I think the the break came at the right time. It's always nice to kind of get that breather, and obviously uh, after such a hectic December, um, I think it was much needed. Um, obviously, Dubai was nice to go away and you know work hard and and get back to kind of peak conditioning and come back. And like you said, it gives us that kind of hunger again. You you get that excitement again for all the games coming up. You just want to get back into it. Three new signings, two of them have already joined up with the squad and made their debuts on Saturday. What what sort of impact have they made in, in training? A very good one, a very good one. Um, you know, I think um, new signs are always going to have that kind of um, enthusiasm when they come in to, to start with, and you know, um, a desire to kind of come in and work hard and, and show what they're all about. And you know, to be fair to um, Ollie, although he didn't get in the score sheet the weekend, he, he he worked really hard and kind of showed a lot of his qualities. And and then with Tim coming off the bench and scoring, I don't think he could have um, planned it any better. So um, both of them seem to have kind of hit the ground running, which is exactly what the rest of us want. Their arrivals do for you because obviously it's two more attacking players into the squad. Yeah, it's it's, it's competition. That's you know a, a club like Celtic, you've got to expect that. Um, you know the the more kind of quality players we can get in our whole squad, the better because you know it's not just going to be the the same eleven players every week. Um, everybody needs to to fight their place, and the more quality players you've got throughout the squad, it, it raises everybody's games. And um, you know hopefully the the likes of these guys coming in will um, will kind of add to to the attacking threat we've already got. Um, you know, and hopefully, kind of kick on and, and put a real stamp on on this club. Sorry, man. How important do you think the next couple of months are going to be for you? Just on that note, when you think about, you know, you bust into the Scotland team, made an impact there. Scotland's good games coming up in March, but as you say, the competition now for our starting berth is going to be really intensified here. Yeah. Um, and for me personally, obviously, I just I just want to keep playing. I want to, you know, keep my my my. Um, spot in the starting eleven, and to do that, um, like I said, I need to be at the top of my game. I need to um, really kind of keep my um, consistency levels high uh, week in week out. And you know, it's something I've touched on before. Maybe I didn't have at the kind of early stage of my career, and um, something I've definitely looked to kind of build on. So you know, for me, I, obviously, I was I was happy the way that I've kind of um, broke into the team before the turn of the year, and um, now you know, it's I know the hard work's definitely not over. I need to really kind of kick on now, and, and hopefully keep contributing to the team. Uh, it appears that when people work under Brendan Rodgers, they bulk up in terms of muscle. That seems to be the same with you. What, what, to what lengths have you changed your kind of training schedule in terms of the gym or whatever? Um, yeah, it's been a, a kind of a really kind of long um, structured plan um, from since I kind of very first came in the door. Um, obviously, when I kind of look back at pictures when I first came in the door, I was just um, a skeleton. So um, I think. Um, the club obviously noticed that straight away and kind of sat me down and, and put a plan in place to kind of really bulk me up and I think I, I, you know, I was told then as well it's not going to happen you know, over weeks, it's, it's going to take months and years to, to really kind of feel that benefit um, 
and then like I've said before, kind of going away to Aberdeen and and even when I was away there, um, you know, the club put a plan in place and gave me the the gym work to go away, and it was up to me obviously to go away and do that. And I think now it's nice to, you know, obviously a few years down the line, finally kind of start benefiting from that. Um, to be fair, I'm, I'm still a long way off. I'm not exactly the biggest guy that the team has for sure right now, so there's plenty, plenty more to do. But I've, uh, from from when I first arrived to now, I definitely feel the the difference in my game and how it's going to help me. How rigorous is it now compared to what it was like when you didn't really hit the weights? Yeah, it's it's hard. You know, it's everyone's got to do it. It's just the kind of extra hours in the gym, and um, you know, sometimes especially in um, the kind of December, January months, you come in from training, you just want to jump in the shower. But um, you know, it's um, that's why it's so good at a club like Celtic. You've got so many people behind the scenes, you know, kind of willing you in and pushing you to get in the gym and helping you out. Um, so, so to all the kind of staff, the um, the sports scientists and that Celtic, I owe quite a lot because probably without them, obviously, it's um, it'd be a different story.